Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to look at some new pretty stuff. I've got the new, well newish, um, rubber base bundle from Madame Glam. So we're going to have a look at them and then we're going to do some what are we doing oh some well i've called them kind of bridal accents but just easy accent nails using these they are rubber bases so they're thicker than normal base and give like extra strength and things so you can use them under something but they're really pretty and sparkly so when i swatch them i'm going to do two coats um and i think that would be fine for a service um oh and you wouldn't have to put a base coat down then yeah, so you do two coats of this and then top. That's quite good. But you'd still have the, the sort of thickness, not that you want nails to be thick, but you'd have the, the thickness of um, a base coat, two colour coats and a top coat because the rubber base is a bit thicker than normal. Um, but they've got wedgingy sort of names, so I thought we'll do some kind of bridal accents. But they could be accents for anything. You could do these designs in whatever colour you want. Um, excuse the kind of monotone, non and I am enthusiastic, I'm just, as most of you who know me and probably where I have, haven't um, <clears throat> posted in a few weeks, um, I'm just really, really struggling with anxiety and panic attacks at the moment, um, not, I don't want, to, don't want to be miserable, bring you all down, I want to be happy for you, um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a lot and I'm, I'm I'm finding it hard to accomplish anything to get anything done which is why this video has taken so long to edit um, just yeah it's it's I'm finding it hard to get anything done at the moment just because I feel really crap all the time um, but right this minute right now I felt like I could face speaking aloud so here we are um, and I'm sure my mood will pick up. Oh, look at these. Okay, this is helping my mood pick up. Look how stunning these are. They're so gorgeous. They are so gorgeous. So that's two coats of the rubber base. So one coat is a lot more sheer. Um, but two coats is like this. Look at that silver one. Oh, they're just amazing. Really, really, really gorgeous. Um, and you can get 30% off using the link in the description and the code MissJo30. Uh, there's other discount codes in there. Have a look at all the um, places on there because um, I've got good good discount codes, especially if, like Born Pretty and Varnail. And obviously Madame Glam 30% is, is whopping. Um, right, so we've done two coats of Chic Rose. And now we're taking, I believe... Oh, it's not white gel paint, is it? It's um, I think it's Loyal, which is one of their whites. And we're going to do a side French. I'm using the um, Ultra Liner. Yes, from Madame Glam. This is, I love this brush. It's my go-to for most things. Um, so we're going to go quite high up on one side. And then I can't remember what happens, to be honest, because I filmed this ages ago. Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'll wait with you. What happens next? Oh, bit of faffing. There we go. Okay, so we've done a side French. Now we're taking the Diamond Bride. And we are going to... Oh, we're just going to do a line across um, the edge of this side French. I wanted to keep these simple for several reasons. One, bridal nails, unless you're like a, a nail person and known for having crazy nails then most people kind of like simple things for bridal nails. So I thought we'll keep it simple. The other reason was uh, I, just because of how I've been feeling. Um, easy stuff that doesn't take long. So we've done a line across there. I think I might have gone over, yes I have, I've gone over it a second time, but just very thin um, and cured. And now we're topping and then I decided to add a little crystal normally I would put crystal glue down gem gel then cure them and then top around the crystals or the or use the crystal gem gel on top of the cured top coat 
but I just stuck them in the top coat because this doesn't need to be durable. It's just a nail pop. It's not a person. There's not an invisible person on the end of that nail. Imagine if there was when I twist the nail off, this person just like spinning around. So that's that one. And then this, oh, this is bananas. It's so sparkly. Um, we're doing two coats. And then for some reason, probably just for quickness, I start adding crystals to this, to the uncured second coat. I would personally cure the second coat. I say I would personally, this is me doing it and I haven't, but if you're doing this on a person or yourself, cure the second coat, then put some crystal gem gel down and add these to that. But I'm just doing it this way because it's quicker. And I know it's kind of sacrilege that I'm covering up that amazing silver, but I just thought it was the perfect background for a full bling nail. So I've added the big ones first, always add the big ones first. And you want to make sure that they're in a place where they're not, where they're sort of completely flat against the nail, you know. Um, or if you do have a gap under them, obviously a flat stone on a curved surface, um, then fill in the gap with some gem gel. Um, and then I cured it. Um, and that's that. These crystals are from Timo, I think. Um, I probably should have given the nail a wipe because they've probably got wax on from my wax pencil, but they're pretty good for, for a few quid, aren't they? I like those. So that would be a, um, a bold bridal statement. And then the next one is... What colour is that? Is that Chic Rose again? I think it might be. Um, that's a, quite a new colour. And I knew I'd use it a lot because I, I've been looking for a colour like this for yonks. And then on this one, we're going to do a side French again. Um, on the other side, and it looks like I'm using white gel paint for this. I don't know why I was flipping between gel paint and gel polish. Um, I think gel paint would be best for a white here for doing a tip because it's um, more opaque. So you can put it on a lot thinner. So you don't get any sort of unevenness. Am I, is this the most boring voice ever ever? I'm really sorry. I hope you're all okay. I thank you so much for your um, comments. They really mean the world to me. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit meh. But I'll be all right. I'll be all right. And now we're taking, what was that? Was it champagne toast? Maybe. And we're going to do the same on the other side, but obviously not go over the white. So we're imagining we're doing a side French with this, but not at the bottom or the tip. And we're taking this up to try and trying to match the top of this to where the top of the white is. So just kind of eyeballing it a little bit. And then I don't know if I do a second coat of that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and then I'll cure it again. Super easy. Um, and super quick as well. And this one, and uh, maybe the first one, would look nice on all ten nails, but also nice just as an accent for a bride. It's not really bride season now, is it? I'm a bit, I'm a bit late to that, but there we go. And then, using white gel paint, I just outlined that sparkly bit and cured it. And then we're going to top, and I'm going to stick a crystal on again. Use crystal gem gel. Um, but I'm not. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing. This is a tutorial of what not to do. So I just put a bit more um, top coat there and popping that in the centre. It looks like a little ballet shoe, doesn't it? Look, that's cute. It does. Makes me think of a little ballet pump. Um, do you remember that Amy Winehouse song? F*** me pumps. Oh, she was awesome. So that's that one. <laughs> And now we're taking Pinkster. This is great pink, really good pink. And we'll do two coats. And then I've no idea. I don't know what happens next. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just lounging on my bed. Just feel like I'm chatting to my friend. I feel like maybe I should be a bit more professional sometimes, but I just can't be asked, to be honest. Oh, if we're using champagne toast now, what was the other one then? I thought that's the one we just used. Obviously not, but I showed you on screen, so it's all good. We're going to paint half of the nail with this and then try and sort of um, spread it out so our sparkly bits are 
evenly distributed um, and then we will cure that I'm not sure about this one well I am <laughs> but I feel like I would do some things different I'm just not sure what um, so we're going to cure that and then we're going to take this stamping plate from Born Pretty BP02 it's old as time so I'm not sure if it still, is, still exists um, we're going to take some white stamping polish Pop some on the lacy bit, scrape a doodle do. This is real speed, you have to work quickly with stamping. Pick it up and then plonk it on that half of the nail that we sparklied. A bit missing at the bottom, but I should be able to use what's left on the stamper to get that. There we go. And then I'm going to wipe off um, down the straight line. I had planned to line it up on the straight line but the stamp I was using wasn't very easy to see so we'll wipe that off just like that and then we're taking gel paint and I don't know what we're gonna do what we're we gonna do Joseph I don't know uh, faff load the brush oh we're going to do a line down the border of these two and I was thinking sometimes when you're painting a line don't think about it too much don't think or oh, don't want to wibble wobble because then your hand goes oh, what did you say wibble wobble okay on it boss and it wibble wobbles which is what happened here just think there I'm starting here I'm going towards there and just kind of ignore everything else <laughs> ignore what your brain's saying um, to sort of help with the neatness of the line or the straightness now we're taking McCart's rhinestone glue which is what I would have used for the crystals and everything else um, this was the first one I did, so I'm using the rhinestone glue, and then obviously I thought, I can't be bothered to do that anymore, I'll just stick it in the top coat, but use a proper gel adhesive. This is the best one I've ever used. Um, crystals really stay on with this. So we're going to pop three crystals at the top, and then a little row of some caviar beads. I'm sorry, I'm really d low down on the screen. Um yeah <laughs> sorry not really do anything about that um, obviously wasn't paying too much attention and then we'll get them where we want them and I'm going to pop some in between the crystals where they sort of have that little dip between the two circles and then we can pop that in the lamp and then top and it would have been nice maybe to do matte on the on this side and the other side shiny that would have been quite nice um, so that's an idea if you like mixed mixed media and then we will cure it and it doesn't show very well on camera but the sparkly underneath was much more obvious in the real life um, maybe I should have done instead of doing pink all over I should have done all the sparkly on one side but they're light so you wouldn't see the white stamping that well but you can, you know, mix and match, do the stamping on the pink side and just have one side that's more sparkly. You can do loads with these because one coat you get a sheer and two coats you get a full sparkle. So, this, you know, they're very versatile. Now, we're taking Loyal, which is a white, and we're feathering it up with the Madame Glam Ombre brush, just like that, and cure. Now we're taking Pearl Promise and we're going to pop that at the top, bring it down and then feather it down over the white with the ombre brush and because it's a sheer polish with glitter it ombres so easily um, there's no kind of harsh um, you know, lines that you have to blend out you just drag it down a little bit didn't want that speck there <laughs> um, and then I did two so I'm doing a second coat now my tip would be from you know learning and doing it wrong do two coats of the white first and then do the was it pearl promise and do a second coat of pearl promise if you need um, but do the yeah so do both coats of white and then both coats of the glitter as opposed to this way I think it will work better that way because I kind of covered everything up um, the blend area when I did the second coat of the white so we'll do the same again and then I'm going to put some crystals along the top I think it looks nice without crystals, but I just thought we'll add a little bit of bling. Spice it up a bit. Spice up your life. 
and people of the world. I loved the Spice Girls. Loved the Spice Girls. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, you all all right? Come and say hello in the comments. I do read them all, even if I don't reply. Um, I tend to have, I sort of stay away from my phone a lot recently. It's on silent. I don't want to speak to anyone. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> Um, but I do read the comments, so keep them coming because I love them. Oh, and Ali, if you're watching this, I know I haven't texted you to say thank you so much for my birthday card and totally agreed with what it said. Um, I'm sorry I haven't texted you. I just don't have it in me to f face human interaction at the moment. Uh, and I keep meaning to text you and then I'm like, it's five in the morning. I don't really want to text you at five in the morning in case your phone's not on silent. Um, so if you're seeing this, um, thank you so much for my card. And I'm sorry I haven't replied to you. I love you and I miss you. Okay. Um, that's that one. We put some along the top. Oh, I do quite like it with crystals, actually. Is that it? Is that the last one? I'm not sure. I think that's my favourite. That would look nice with any of the colours. You know, maybe with the goldy coming down or any of them with the silvery or the peachy looking one uh, but that's them just some really easy um i'm gonna say bridal accents but you don't have to be a bride to have these designs um but just some easy little accent nails that are a little bit sparkly with the new um rubber base collection or bundle i think it's called so don't forget you can get 30% off of that. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Um, I have missed talking to you. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Buzz bye. -bye.